This is an education manual that was printed by the United States Armed Forces Institute, which no longer exists. It is College Algebra by Rosenbach and Whitman, Education Manual MC425, reprinted for the United States Armed Forces Institute. So reprinted meaning that this book was already uh, in use. And I'm pretty sure um, that these books, the ones they picked to reprint, were really good books. They were the best books. They would take the books that were like very, very popular, you know, widely regarded, and they, there was some process that they underwent, and they would choose the books. So the one that was chosen was the one by Rosenbach and Whitman to reprint here. So yeah, pretty cool. So I, I think this book is amazing. <laughs> If you can find a copy, buy it. I'll look, but it's pretty hard to find copies of these. It's signed by someone there in 1956. Wow, Charles A. Lawson II. Oh, what's this? Look at this. This is cool. So there's a test you can take. It says, when you feel prepared, you may take a USAFI, United States Armed Forces Institute. Okay. And of, and of course, test for which you will receive a report of your score. USA, USAFI end of course test may be obtained as follows and it tells you how to how, how to get the test. It says it, by students enrolled, okay, if you receive this book for individual study through enrollment, you may obtain an end of course test by sending a DD form number 179. Wow, sounds really official. And then in locally organized classes, you may apply through your instructor. Okay, and then it has, if you are on active duty and attain this book by any other means, you may obtain an application by writing to the director, the United States Armed Forces Institute in Madison 3, Wisconsin, or to the nearest overseas USAFI. Huh. Huh. Okay. Well, good to know. <laughs> so, and that says something here. This is the title page of the first algebra published in England. A reproduction of the title page of The Whetstone of Wit by Robert Record, 1510 to 1558. The first algebra published in English, 1557. The Kosik practice mentioned in the third line below the title refers to operations on numbers represented by letters. The word Kosik is derived from the Italian word cosa, meaning the thing, hence the unknown. Wow. And let's take a look at this book. Let's open it up. This is interesting. We haven't even gotten to the book and it's already... So I've looked at this book before. I've, I've done some exercises from it. Let me just say that it's got great problems. So the exercises in this book, the examples you'll see, we'll look at some examples. Uh, they're a little bit harder sometimes and, and they're well explained, but they're harder than like the modern books. So here's the copyrights. You can see the first one, 1933. Wow, was that during the depression? I think it might've been, I don't, I don't know. Education manuals are reprints of standard American textbooks. The statements and opinions are those of the authors. These reprints are not available for sale by the superintendent of documents. Wow, I'm just gonna give it a whiff here. So the United States Armed Forces Institute, Institute by the way, uh, was founded in 1942. That was during World War II. Uh, so I'm sure that had something to do with it. Uh, but then uh, it's some, for some reason it just stopped being a thing. And here we go. Oh, what's this? I didn't read this, the preface. Yeah, let's skip the preface. Let's just go to the content. Carnegie Institute of Technology. Wow. Fundamental operations, factoring and fractions, exponents and radicals, functions and their graphs, equations and their solutions, systems of linear equations, quadratic equations, some more systems. Really basic stuff, right? This is the stuff that you... Um, learn in algebra. By the way, this is perfect for beginners. This is a great book for self-study. And you have answers. Let's go straight to the answers. And you see here, you have some answers, right? You have answers. Now, some answers are missing, but you have answers. It says, the answers to the odd numbered problems are only Ah, the answers to the odd number problems only are given here, right? 
the answers to the even number problems are available in a separate pamphlet. Right. Right. I shouldn't say are only given here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this book. Oh, look, someone did these. This was not me. I would not write in this book. It's too rare. I didn't pay that much money for this book, I think. Probably less than 20 bucks, but I mean, it's, it's an original, right? It's from the United States Armed Forces Institute. It smells really good. These are pretty easy. Let's go to something harder. Let's go to like some harder equations. I mean, here we go. This one's not too hard. This is pretty standard. Solve algebraically. So we've got an ellipse. Yeah, so that's the equation of an ellipse up there. That's the first equation. I know that because if you divide by 32, that will make this a 1 on the right-hand side, and then it'll have the form of an ellipse. And it's a hyperbola. So to solve this algebraically means that basically you're finding the points of intersection uh, on the plane of the ellipse and the hyperbola. And here are those points of intersection, right? Now, it doesn't say that anywhere here in the problem, probably, probably because um, they can't assume that you know what that is. And I guess I can. <laughs> so, and then here it goes and gives you the solutions. And the solutions are ordered pairs. I love how it explains everything in a very good fashion. Um, and I've seen other really good examples. What's this? Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good example. Solve the equation. Look at this. So this reminds me of something I've taught well, when I've taught college algebra in the past, uh, where you teach solving equations uh, by making substitutions. You can turn them into quadratic form. But that's a, that's a tough one, and look at this one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I see, I see. That's cool. See how they did that? Because it's 5x, oh, uh, it's, five, it's 5 over y, and then when you multiply by y, it turns into a quadratic. I was like, it's not a quadratic. Yeah, you make the substitution, then it turns into a quadratic. So that's really cool. And look at this one. Nuts, right? What a great book. And it's got, they're worked out. That's the thing, right? And this is just one section. It's, the whole book is like this. It's a wonderful book for learning. It's a soft cover, but it's well made. Hey, it's the United States Armed Forces Institute. It's a tough book, right? They did a good job. I wonder what happened to them. I, I looked it up on Wikipedia and I, and I couldn't find much information. Oh, God, it smells so good. I couldn't find much information. Uh, on them. It just says that when they were formed and it was an organization. Yeah, so I mean this book would be better if it had more answers, but hey, it's still got plenty. I'm happy I was able to get a copy of this book as a collector. You know, these are these are kind of fun to have. It's a piece of history. Um, look at these. Look at these roots. Crazy, right? But I'll look for the book. I'll look for the algebra book or, or this one. If I, if I can find it either or, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. So you can check it out if you, if you want to. But you could use this book for self-study. You could sit down, read it, work through it, um, you know, and all that stuff. But yeah, anyways, I, I have a college algebra course, by the way. I do. Uh, I actually have an actual course. It's on Udemy, which is a reputable place to buy courses. But if you get it, uh, use the links uh, from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com. And um, you'll get a low price, and it helps me. So yeah, and subscribe if you want. And I'll look for this book and I'll see if I can find any copies. It's really cool. Take care.